transition now. Can you get some lights on here? I'm not good with, with holding a microphone, so you have to bear with me. I'm a little spoiled with all these things on my face. Um, it wasn't just a handful of months ago that we, we were here doing something else. We, uh, we had a wedding ceremony, and then we baptized Hannah, which was awesome. They're up in Georgia now, and uh, Troy's in the service, so he's up there serving our country. Uh, but of course, little Liliana is uh, how many days old now? Eight. Eight days old. Nine? You're wrong, yeah. yeah. I should know better than to ask the husband. That's stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, here, here, here's what we're doing. Um, Jesus' parents, uh, when he was eight days old, so we're just, we're close, we're close, we're close, you know? Uh, just all the more reason why we should meet every single day, right? Amen? Um, Jesus' parents came back to the temple to dedicate him. They realized that this baby of theirs was not theirs, that it was God's child, his, his child. And so they went back to the temple to just acknowledge that, just say, God, this is your child. And, and, and he's just on loan to us. And so uh, they dedicated the child. So uh, that's not the only time. In the, in the scriptures, um, there was a girl named, guess what? Hannah. I think that was her name, wasn't it? Hannah. And she wanted a baby so bad that she had to have one. And she just begged God and begged God and begged God. And finally, God said, okay, gave her a baby. And so uh, Samuel was born. And so what she did is she went back to the temple and she dedicated the child back to the Lord. And so what she did is that she dropped the child off at the church, which I highly do not recommend. <laughs> you guys know we have six, right? I don't need any more kids. You can drop them at the DiGiacomo's. They're welcome. They're welcome anybody, right? I got you, Plenty of room. So, uh, but anyway, she dedicated the child back to God too. So here, here's, here's what we do. Uh, we, I've talked to, to Daddy here, and this is what dedication is. This de dedication is just saying, you know what, God, this child is yours. Uh, we were very passive in creation. Uh, this is God's child. So this is, Liliana is God's little baby. And what the parents have committed to do is a, is a couple things. They, first and foremost, they're going to model Christ-like character before their daughter, so that they can, so that when 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 the little girl looks at daddy, she sees Jesus. When she looks at mommy, she sees Jesus, and so that uh, she'll follow suit. And, and the other thing, and I stress this to Troy, is that it is daddy's job to teach Liliana about Jesus. It is his job to teach her the Word of God, so she would know Jesus. Now we can't ensure loving Jesus, can we? But we can sure nurture that by teaching her about Jesus. And so they've made that commitment to do that. But here's what, um, even though they live in Georgia for now, we don't know what God's plan is for you. If he'll come back or not, we don't know. But they're part of our family here. And, and so this is their church family. You are, you are their church family. So now they've made a commitment to raise the child up to know Jesus and to model Christ-like character before them before her. So now I'm asking you, and don't take this lightly, before you raise your hand, I want you to think about it for a moment. Will you do the same? Will you partner with them to model Christ-like character before this little girl so she might see Jesus? Will you, will you help them to teach the child about Jesus? Yes. 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 That's an I do moment, like a wedding. Do you? I think, would you all join me in prayer? We'll pray for this little baby. First and foremost, Lord, we, we want to thank you for letting us gather here tonight. Thank you, Lord, that your spirit is here with us. I know I'm not the only one who can sense your presence here. Your presence is obvious in the creation of a beautiful little baby. Lord, I, I would ask you a great blessing upon Troy and Hannah. Help them to navigate through this very difficult world that is drawing them into negative things, things that are not of you, but Lord, protect them. Guide them in their efforts to model Christ-like character before Liliana. Help them to, to be reminded to teach Liliana about you, to share your precious word with her. 
Lord, the world will desire Liliana. But we pray, Lord, now that you would be her shield, her protector, her refuge. That you would just gather her up under your righteous right and protect her. Help them to, to teach her, to know you, to love you. Bless their marriage. And help us, Lord, as a, as a family here at Revolution to partner with Troy and Hannah. We acknowledge now all of us, all of us here in this room, that Liliana is your creation. You created her. You will sustain her. You will protect her. You will provide for her. But most importantly, you do and you will love her. We ask you a great blessing upon this entire family. We ask this in Jesus' name. so that uh, we can celebrate God's kingdom growing. The Bible says that a growing population is the king's glory. And so tonight, um, two people that you may know and love, this is Mark. Y'all want to say hello to Mark? Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. They made a decision to follow Jesus. And uh, they want to do it in front of the world. So you're the world. You represent a big number tonight, so you're going to make some noise. Okay? Um, you know, everybody's story is a little bit different. Uh, Mark uh, went to church younger, uh, as a younger man, and uh, he got baptized in the lake. But he didn't really have any idea why. He's like, well, I'm supposed to get baptized, my parents go to church, so he went and got baptized. But he didn't really have a relationship with Jesus. He started coming to the church here a handful of months ago, and not everybody's the same. This guy here is one of those guys you just love to be around, man, because the joy of the Lord is just like pouring out of every pore of his body. He's got this thing with Jesus now, and it's contagious. It's awesome to see. Um, Jesus has done a work. Yeah, you can tell that's a, that's a half hearted clap. You can clap. Uh, the Spirit of God, it, it, if, if it saves you, then it changes you, okay? Yep. Yep. And, and let me tell you something about Mark. Um, and he gave me permission to tell you this. He admitted it openly to our men's group on uh, Tuesday night. This is a man who used to smoke, I'm sorry for his kids, but it's true, he smoked pot every day. Uh -oh. And he drank every day. Uh -oh. And he started coming to church here, started reading his Bible, started praying, started interacting with the guys here at the church. And it's now been a month and it's not that he's, he doesn't, listen, he doesn't have to work hard at it. You ever, you ever try to quit doing something? Yeah, he doesn't have to try to quit it. He's not trying to quit smoking. He's not trying to quit drinking. You know why? Because God took it away. His, his desire was going to marry him. So he's decided to, uh, to be obedient to the word of God. Jesus said to go make disciples and baptize in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's what we're going to do. in the water, and then it turns red. <laughs> in this case, he went to Daytona and took care of it for us. Does it feel good? I was going to put ice in it for you. But I didn't want to do that to Cree. <laughs> Let's pray for Mark. Father, we thank you for letting us be here to witness your spirit at work. It is true, Lord, that if you truly save someone, then you truly change them. An encounter with the creator of the universe must change a person, and it is obvious in this man. Lord, I pray that this moment here right now, that you would burn this moment into his mind and into his heart, that he would never forget this moment. So when the enemy of this world tempts him to go back to do the things that he used to do, that he would not do it, that he would think of this moment when he made a commitment to 
for you, a Christ follower. Lord, I ask us here, ask for us here at the church, Lord, that you help us to be good brothers and sisters to Mark, to encourage him, to pray for him, to kick him in the pants if he needs one, to be a good brother or sister in Christ. Thank you for that. Bless this man, Lord, and use him. He's a strong man. Use him for your glory. Use him to spread the good news of your son Jesus to the ends of the earth. We ask this in Jesus' name. Mark, was your one and only Lord and Savior? It's in that confession, I now bury you with Christ, like him who be raised to new life. I baptize you in the name.
because I think I didn't mean it the first time. But I know I didn't quite understand exactly what I was symbolically doing. After I was baptized, I still attended church, but never really advanced spiritually in my faith. Once I became a teenager, I had myself believing that since I was a Christian, I could put myself into any situation and not fall into temptation. But I quickly found out that I was only human. I fell into trap after trap Satan had set up for me, completely losing sight of God.
everybody is here today, you are alive and well. You're alive and well and free. Lord, I ask that you would bless this young lady and use her. You've given her a tremendous personality, a dynamic young lady she is. And I do watch her. So Lord, I pray that you would help her with her witness. That you would use her to be a witness for you, Lord Jesus, here locally and to the ends of the earth. Lord, it's been a, a great pleasure to watch her grow up. Okay? I hope, Lord, that even though she's a changed person today, that doesn't mean she's not going to do cartwheels across our living room anymore. <laughs> Lord, bless her. And, and please, do what she said. Protect her, Lord. Help her in her Christian walk. This world will fight for her. We ask you, Lord Jesus, that you would fight for her and defend her against the attacks of the enemy. Help her, Lord, when she is tempted to, to go off in another direction, to heed your spirit and to follow you. Earn this moment into her mind for the rest of her life. She would remember this moment when she fully, completely gave her life.